Ooh, welcome man welcome back to the channel guys real quick guys i want to go over something um a video i did a while back had to be a year year and a half maybe even two years ago i was talking about this particular this kind of van this is a 2011 or 2012 uh town and country chrysler town and country van as you can see it's equipped with a 36 i caught a lot of flack for that video the topic of that video was uh i was discussing the price of a complete battery harness all right and the reason that topic came up is because look at this guy pay close attention this battery terminal is connected to the harness all right in other words the terminal is not replaceable all right so y'all know here at certain spots certain locations that i work out of we cannot rig this we cannot cut just say you need a terminal we can't cut this and put it on another terminal it can be done it's just that we can't do it so the thinking behind that video was to warn people not to hammer on this with an impact because that's pretty much that could ruin the terminal you know you take an impact brrr, use a wrench or a ratchet guys hand ratchet never never electric drill because this boat is beveled and too many hammering on it you can ruin it all right now let me move on okay but before i do that let me play the video let me play a clip of the video welcome man welcome back to the channel i'm gonna do this video real quick you minivan owners or any car that utilize battery terminals like this be extremely careful dealing with these battery terminals they are very sensitive you should not be using impacts electric drill or anything like that on these battery terminals the reason being because you cannot replace these battery terminals um independently by themselves you will have to get a complete engine wiring harness now take a look at this with this battery all the way on i mean with this terminal with this connector all the way on and tighten the battery connection is still loose that is not good you would get all kinds of battery fault codes and alternator codes so what i want to leave with you is this tip um if you're dealing with your battery terminals please only use either a wrench or a socket because i'm gonna turn the camera around and show you something with these grooves the way they design is a uh, the nut is beveled okay so if you take the nut off you will see how it's beveled and what it does is create or eliminate space between the nut and the, this bracket right here which as you tighten it down and just closes the clamp up okay if that is worn down no matter how much you tighten this battery terminal it will not tight it will be loose like that and you will essentially need the complete wiring harness so as you can see from that picture in the beginning of this video it costs eleven hundred dollars to replace this battery wiring harness so again a tip is to do not use electric drills or impacts on these battery terminals they are sensitive only tighten them up with a a wrench or a socket okay all right so now y'all saw that video now here's where I'm, I'm working on this van this very same situation this is what this customer did okay like i said in the video you cannot replace just the terminal now the newer model vans i, I want to say 2013 and 2014s and higher the terminals are replaceable i don't know what fca was thinking when they did this it could have easily been they could have easily rigged it to where it work properly and make these terminals replaceable but they just didn't do it so the customer took it upon himself to do just what you can do in the event you don't want to pay thirteen hundred dollars for a complete engine harness that's ridiculous guys of course people are going to try to fix their car we on the other hand cannot do that so i cannot recommend that uh at that place at at the dealership <laughs> so i caught a lot of flag but man you out of your mind anybody gonna spend no i wasn't telling you to do that i'm telling you that's what it could cost you if you hammer on this and ruin it a lot of people took that the wrong way all right here's the end of results of somebody actually doing just that now of course as you can see he cut right here all you got to do is cut bzzz, and then put this on a new terminal which is what he did 
Now, this would have been a successful repair had he used a decent, at least a decent terminal. Look, look at this closely, guys. You can see where he cut it. Now you have this piece here. If you to use, you can buy these terminals. It doesn't have to, you're not gonna get one that fits your car because there's not, there's no such terminal that calls for your car because it's not replaceable per OEM. So you can, however, purchase the upgraded terminal for a newer model, a new year model van. Now, he could have used that and put it on here and then take this cable and put it on here. So my point is, if you're gonna do it, <laughs> Some people have no choice. Hey, everybody ain't got a thousand dollars. Everybody, no. I don't even want to do this job. I would, if it was my car, I would do it. But I would at least go on with high quality battery terminal. So he did the cut, but he ended up using low quality, a low quality terminal. Guys, he's having all kinds of electrical issues. Okay, y'all know the heart and soul of an electrical, the, the electronics on any vehicle is the battery, guys. If there's poor connection at the battery or high resistance, this could be a causing high resistance. Ah, oh, look, I think I just bent this some more. I'm gonna leave it alone. No, that is flim flamsy. I, I refuse to proceed with diagnostic like this. Guys, anytime you have any kind of electrical issue, no matter what it is, this should be the first thing you check. Now, from the look of it, this looks like, and I'm going based on that on look, this looks like a decent battery. It's a die hard. Uh, I haven't ran any kind of load test on it, but it looks fairly new where the customer messed up is is the connection to it y'all know how important ground is for all your electronics to work properly this look intact this is too that's that's causing some issue guys so before i even proceed with trying to find his electrical problem uh, i gotta get that fixed now if, can i go up and sell a terminal uh, Here's how this works. I take the RO number and I give it to the parts counter. I was like, let me get a battery terminal for this car. They're going to look at the year maker model. They're going to enter the VIN and he's going to come back and tell me there is no such. Then I'm going to go, or then I can go, well, give me one for a 2015 model. Now, that's where some discrepancies will come into play. Okay, that's where I can get in trouble. The parts can, parts can do. A lot of people, if, if things got filed or things turned for the worse. We start talking court issues and things like that because we are liable for the repairs that we do. So if I choose to go that route and something happened, yes, we are liable. Not just me. I work for this place, so ain't no I in team. It's all of us. So my point is, I guess the customer could either go back and make this right because if I give you my estimate, it's going to be a complete harness. And I already know he can't afford that or not going to do that. So... I don't know, man. I just wanted to bring that to you guys' attention. No impacts, no air impacts or nothing on this. And if you're going to do this, at least use a quality terminal. Just get a 2015 model negative battery terminal. It will bolt up the exact same way, guys. Just a bolt in the center. Brrr, put it on and uh, get you some good ground. But I can't do anything. That's looser than what y'all seeing. I'm just holding back because I don't want it to snap. I feel like it's about to break right here. And I don't want to be the one to cause that. So, guys, that's all I have, man. Just wanted to bring that by your attention. All you, boy, it don't just apply to this uh, vineyard, minivan. It's applied to anything that you utilize or that have terminals built onto the harness. This was a terrible idea. All right. Thanks for watching. Come and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video.